I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. Still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch them take my dog. So it's currently 3.35 um, Sunday. First off, I want to thank all you guys for the support you gave me for the past few videos, last video especially. Uh, I noticed a lot of you guys found the link to the website, even though I haven't actually like promoted it or anything just yet. But uh, thank you guys for one, uh, testing it out and reporting all the bugs. Uh, one of them being the buy more button for actually buying more tokens, not an actual subscription plan. Uh, I forgot to link that to uh, my back end, my database. So I need to add that to the webhook. Uh, later today or tomorrow uh, along with a couple other things that I want to do for this week's video uh, But I do want to let you guys know I do plan on not changing the format but adding on to the format of these like weekly videos um, The core functionality of this app is data science. It's machine learning and uh, right now all I'm doing is mostly just software engineering uh, Tidying up a couple things uh, the machine learning part will come it, ha it is in the app uh, and there will be more machine learning um, implementation in the app but right now I need to do some, you know, UI builds and, you know, fixing problems and bugs here and there to get to that part. So um, hopefully you guys, um, you know, can uh, understand that. But another thing I want to do is add more data science and machine learning content for these weekly videos. Uh, I am a data scientist. I work as a data scientist full time. That's my nine to five. Uh, so I want to share more about that content and the stuff I'm doing for work. Uh, I think it truly will be beneficial just because... If I was starting out, I would truly want to know, one, what, what data scientists actually do, what can people who aren't data scientists learn, slash try to do to be more marketable, provide more value and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's my goal. Um, we're at the library right now. My wife's printing some stuff and then we're going to go to the gym. But I will hopefully give you some updates later today or early tomorrow. So, yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I truly appreciate the support and I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. L'amour avec grand A, celui qu'on se sert C'est après les mômes qu'il commence pour de vrai Dans les débuts, c'est l'envie d'obi On se promet tout et ça pour la vie Les mots les plus doux, les projets d'avenir Romance petit déj au réveil dans le lit Très attentionné, attentionné Au flair d'une grossesse, dans la tête ça chauffe sans cesse Alright, so I just finished a pretty busy day uh, and I wanted to, you know, catch you guys up and give you a recap. Uh, essentially, today what I did was a lot of, uh, you know, understanding what next steps I can do with all the data I just extracted. So to catch you guys up, last week I did a lot of uh, data engineering work, uh, integrating new uh, tools to our stack, our tech stack, and also uh, extracting and loading a lot of data from other tools that we currently use. Uh, Intercom, for example, which is essentially a tool that we use to communicate with customers, send email notification, um, you know, text through SMS, phone calls, and track all that. So I needed to extract all that data and store it in our warehouse, and I'm using it to quantify organic liquidity. We currently have other ways of quantifying organic liquidity, but we want to add this as a factor into uh, organic liquidity as a definition. So. Yeah, that's what I did last week, but this week I'm trying to use that data in a more meaningful way for data science. And one of the ideas I have is to implement text clustering, uh, RCA, semantic analysis, and you know a couple other things that I can do uh, to one, get to the bottom line and try to understand why customers are contacting us for specific reasons. Um, and you know maybe potentially find a couple ways that we can automate these you know <laughs> answers so that we don't have to put so much burden on our CX, DX agents. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I also had to do a lot of, um, I guess, planning this week because I have a lot of work I need to do. I just haven't had the time to sit down, make tickets, and actually write them out so that I remember to do it and I don't forget. A lot of that work in involves documenting stuff, trying to understand uh, these new workflows. And uh, when I was doing that extraction uh, process last week, I noticed a lot of the, a lot of the stuff in our current like uh, connectors, like Airbyte, Stitch Data, and whatever. Uh, we don't really use, so maybe there's some cleanup I can do there. So uh, instead of extracting and loading a lot of data to our warehouse, increasing our uh, warehouse usage and stuff like that, dumping a lot of data there that we don't really need, uh, maybe I can stop. Maybe I can, you know, schedule them uh, less or more sparsely, less frequently, and stuff like that. So yeah, a couple of ways to try and optimize our warehouse usage to reduce our RPUs and stuff like that. Uh, those are just ideas. I don't know if they're gonna work, but yeah, uh, generally. I think this week I have a lot of work to do. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna work on actually uh, making good tickets and you know uh, clarifying the ask and uh, 
outlining what I really need to do just so I don't get lost uh, in the sauce when I'm context switching and stuff like that. But uh, with regards to the app, uh, yesterday I did a lot of work regarding Stripe uh, and you know uh, implementing the tokens, uh, the token system, updating tokens. So I decided, I think one of you commented, um, for a new month, if a user has tokens left over from the previous month, I'm gonna keep them for 90 days and then after that it's gonna go. Uh, I think that's pretty good or pretty fair way to uh, implement the token feature that I want to implement. So uh, if you guys have any other suggestions, do let me know down below. I still have to do a couple other things for, for um, the app. Uh, a lot of work for the master resume. I also added this uh, referral feature, which essentially allows you to uh, check if that application was through a referral, which allows me in the back end to do some analytics, which I'm excited for. So yeah, um, yeah, a lot more work to do there. Uh, some Stripe work I need to do in, in terms of like tracking new events for non-subscription payments, so like one-off payments if you want to buy tokens, uh, 10 tokens, 50 tokens, whatever it may be. Uh, and also I need to track that data and store it. I haven't created a table for that. I haven't even thought about how to model that, uh, but I will. <laughs> uh, yeah, aside from that, I also need to make a dashboard, an admin dashboard for me to, for, for me to actually see users and applications and stuff much easier because right now I don't really have a, a user-friendly way for me to see that. Um, and since I don't allow email login, so there's no SMTP, uh, set up just yet, it's all OAuth. I need to find a way to allow myself to be the admin user and to verify that I'm the only admin user uh, so that nobody else can see that admin page or that dashboard. So a lot of things to do for the app too. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. Uh, right now, I think I'm gonna focus more on the payment side, the Stripe processing side, just because I need a break from the master resume, I think. But yeah, I knew it's, it's about 7 p.m. right now. I'm gonna try to get more things done today just because I feel like I'm in, in the flow state. Uh, I, I think I can pump a couple things more uh, out today and then tomorrow I'll pick off you know pick up where I left off so but yeah thank you guys for sticking along this far I hope to see you bright and early tomorrow morning Tell me as you ride it, tell me as you vibe it, tell me where you slide on the low. I can be a diamond, the one that you can find in, give me time and a little more. Alright, so um, over the past few days, I've had a lot on my mind. Work wise, a lot of things just come up that I need to do. A lot of stuff for my app, a lot of stuff for my job, a lot of stuff for my personal life. And I've been struggling to write things down or you know update my to-do list. Historically, I've had multiple to-do lists, one on my phone, <laughs> Google Calendar, um, Todoist, I think it's one of the apps, Notion. I've tried all these different apps, all these different things. I just, I just don't have that, like, that seamless process of updating something as soon as it goes through my head. I just need to get better at writing. But, but yeah, I don't know why this morning I found uh, sticky pads uh, and it's been working great. Every time I have an idea, I have one of these by my desk have a pen by my desk and I just write it down, stick it somewhere where I can uh, you know, see it and access it easily so I don't forget. And so far it's been working great. My mind is not a mess, it's not cluttered and I'm getting stuff done as I should. I don't need people to you know, remind me to do things. I don't need my wife to tell me to do things. I can just, you know, if, if, they, if, they, if it needs to get done, it's probably written down or at least that's what I found for the past few days. So uh, if you guys are struggling to remember your tasks or struggling to you know, keep your mind clear because I don't think as humans we're meant to uh, store a bunch of stuff in our in our brains. I think there's probably some some evidence to back that, or maybe I'm wrong. I think we're more um, you know curious people. We're not, we're more creative. We're meant to implement and actually take action instead of just store a bunch of random things that we can have a second brain for, or just like note down or store it in a database or something like that. So, but yeah, I've been trying to improve my practice of writing things down and actually like. Uh, clearing my brain so that I have more room up there to think creatively and actually work on stuff that that matters to me So yeah, um, aside from that, I've been doing a lot of uh, documenting today for work uh, Overall, I think I found a couple ways to save the company money I think I mentioned this yesterday, but uh, I have a meeting with my some of my stakeholders my manager and uh, the CTO in the next few days so I'll, I'll be talking about that later um, I'm also working on some stuff for my app so I think I decided I'm gonna store and actually yeah store the the Stripe event data in my warehouse. A couple tables need to be created for that and you know, a couple other uh, uh, APIs need to be created for that. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be fun for the next few days. Uh, when it comes to the main functionality that I wanna implement, the master resume concept, I am looking forward to um, 
because right now I'm doing a lot of UI stuff. I am looking forward to get to the nitty gritty actual functionality uh, involving the uh, API call where I send the master resume in so that you know instead of just giving you feedback on what your current resume is, it can help swap points out or recommend points from your master resume to be implemented into your actual resume for that job application. I uh, don't think I'm gonna get that done by this video, but you know I just wanted to put it out there so uh, I can be reminded of that and also share some of the up updates I have for the app to you guys. Uh, I also have a couple other things I wanna do for the app in terms of um, you know, just non master resume stuff. Like uh, I think I talked about this in the previous video, but I do want the app to be the past, present and future. So past as in all your previous experience, your present, what you're currently working on and in the future, what you can work on uh, and all the data that the, the app has, all the data that the LLM has, uh, it can be used to actually curate a custom roadmap for you to help you reach your goals. I think that's probably one of the best things um, this app can do. Aside from helping you land a job, it can also help you upskill you know, get promotions or just help you consistently stay up to date with the industry in the field. So but yeah, aside from that, I'm gonna be working uh, and I have to go to the gym today. Uh, and also tomorrow is Thursday, so I'll post this video probably Friday. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you guys back tomorrow with more updates. I got problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know you got problems. Know you at the bottom. Know you took a loss today. Everybody want bottles. Give me for a throttle. You just want bottle day. Tell me joy where it's hiding. I've been trying to find it before I go all the way. Cause everybody got problems. Everybody starving. But don't you go off the day. Yeah. So it's currently Thursday. Um, I haven't really done much coding today uh, for work or for my app. I just got back from my morning run. I did a long run today. I was 10 miles. Uh, next week, I hope to do a whole half marathon. Um, so yeah, this was preparing for that. I felt really good. I don't know about you guys, but I usually like to put the, the hardest thing I have to do mentally in the morning, and usually it's running. Sometimes it's like other things, but yeah, today was running. So. I'm very happy I got that out of the way. Um, I have a lot of plans for today. Uh, one being editing this video so that I can post it uh, on time by tomorrow. And a couple other things I need to do is uh, for work, uh, my stakeholders come back tomorrow, so I need to prepare all the things I need in terms of documentation, uh, you know, publishing and pushing stuff, merging stuff to main uh, so that it's in our warehouse and uh, the changes are, are applied by tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and a couple other things that I need to do for work. But for the app, uh, I plan to at least by the end of this video, hopefully get some of the application forms uh, redone or at least updated. Uh, like I said before, I'm planning to implement this referral feature and I'm pretty much 90% done. So yeah, I wanna get the remaining 10% today, but I don't wanna overdo or overbook myself just because I do know I have a lot of like other things to do for work and like for, for uh, editing this video. So I also wanted to talk about something else. Uh, let, me, let me go get it real quick. So yeah, about a month ago, I think it was Amazon Prime Day or something, I got this uh, ukulele. Uh, ukulele, ukulele, I don't know how to say it, but I've been wanting to, I used to be able to play the guitar and I've been wanting to get back into playing instruments and uh, it's, I, I started pretty strong, I would say I practice every day and then slowly, slowly stopped practicing consistently. I think I know a couple chords, four or five chords, and I have to play a couple songs. So uh, what I'm trying to get at here is I wanna get more consistent with, with these like instruments and, and I guess hobbies that I'm trying to pick up. Um, I do want to play the guitar again some, sometime soon, maybe this year, maybe next year. So uh, I want to get consistent with practicing my hobbies and uh, things that I want to pick up uh, every day. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's going to be part of the content. Maybe it won't. Uh, but I thought it'd be nice to at least you know give you guys some context. For those of you who are also struggling to maintain or juggle a lot of things, but you also want to do it because you think it's going to help your growth, it's going to help you balance yourself and stuff like that. Um, Hopefully this will inspire you to, to at least, you know, stay consistent and try. It doesn't have to be, I, I don't plan to do this for, for very long, uh, maybe like five or 10 minutes a day, practicing a couple chords, learning new songs, strumming patterns and stuff like that. Anyway, I got a lot of stuff to do, uh, not much time to do it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started right now. So I'll see you guys later today. Okay, you know I go and I'm always on my own And you running through my mind and the weather's getting cold And my homies getting coughed and I'm stuck here all alone And I'm scrolling through the gram and you pop up in my phone Yeah, you know I'ma hit you on a late start, we don't gotta waste no That house is creeping, this could be a secret, yeah, yeah. Girl, I like it,
Very simple Come through your fire What you in for? I remember you, girl You my nympho Don't tell me that change That be screaming my name Really all I bad Step it to life And all I bad We can set a fire For them all bad Bring it right now I need it right now I, uh, I realized I forgot to close out the video, so I just wanted to come in and check in and say thank you guys again so much for your support. Thank you for watching the video. If you got to this point of the video, please leave a comment. I'd love to respond and you know, thank you for your time. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to focus on getting this video done and upload it for tomorrow morning. Uh, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Look, how many times did I match this work? Feel like 10,000 days Bros in court with the A-list Model wise that Cause she reached the NDA Just had a call with Irish Jack Man don't rap but he lets it spray